hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video we'll be talking about how we can do a call out to spotify from salesforce so we will be connecting salesforce and spotify and we will do a call out from salesforce and we will try to get some information from this spotify website before that there are some prerequisites we need to do so we need to create an account on spotify for developers you can open the developer.spotify.com um, all you need to do is you need to go and create an account sign up there and then you need to create a new app what it does is that when you create a new app it will give you the client id and client secret okay so what i'm going to do is that i'll create a new app and i will call it test app and okay and we need web api so i will click on it and we will click on accepting terms and condition and this will create a app for us okay so now if i go to dashboard you will see two apps we will be using the second app which we have just created and if you go to settings you will be able to do to see these client id and client secret we will be using these client id and client secrets to uh, call the uh, spotify okay now on the salesforce end I have already created a Spotify uh, service class. What it does is that we have two methods. One is get Spotify access token and the other one is get artist information. So we will be trying to get the artist information from the Spotify. Okay, uh, if I show you the Spotify website or you can say Spotify for developers there are different uh, web apis available okay so you can get the album information you can get a specific album you can get several albums you can get the tracks you can get the artist information you can get the several artists similarly there are different different apis available and spotify for developers website has complete tutorials available so if you want to write on your own you can go and read everything if you go to getting started they have full information available on how to do it how to go how to create app how to get the uh, access token everything is available there okay we will try to get the artist information okay so even here example is available on how you can get it okay so this is the api endpoint for the uh, for the artist information all you need to do is to pass the artist id and there is a way to get the artist id as well so if we open the uh, spotify uh, website let's say uh, the web uh, web player for it and let's say if we search for Arijit Singh you will be able to see this is the Arijit Singh and this is the artist ID so we need to pass this artist ID in the callout code okay we will be doing it uh, just after just right now in this call so first we will try to get the access token there so in order to get the access token we will have to pass the client ID and client secret to the endpoint which is the accounts.spotify.com slash api slash token if you hit this endpoint and provide the correct client id and client secret you will get the access token in return okay this is what you are getting here access token in the in return and that you will pass to your other method when called for so when we call the get artist information we are calling this endpoint this is nothing but what we discussed here this is the endpoint we are calling and we are part pa we are passing the artist id so we will have to pass the art, uh, artist id from our side okay we need to know the artist id for that we can we can use the custom metadata or anything in in our salesforce but we need to have the artist id if we pass the artist name manually that will not work so you'll have to pass the artist id 
once we pass the artist id we will get the access token we will pass the access token uh, in the header along with the endpoint and we will set the method as get method and then in return we will get the complete artist information along with the name and other things as well so that's what we have written in this code i will also provide the um, the code in the description so you can check it and let me know if you have any doubt in any of these lines and one other thing you will have to add the endpoints in the remote site setting if you will not do that then also it will give us the unauthorized uh, remote point not uh, if you will not add the remote point then you will get the unauthorized access kind of error uh, as well okay so let us copy the uh, let us copy the client id and access token and pass the correct value and then see if it is working or not so let us copy it and i think we are all set if everything goes right this will give us results in return what we need to do in order to be able to call this class we will have to go to the anonymous window and do this call out okay so this is the artist id we have copied from here let us try to search for one of my favorite okay if we search for artist this is the artist luckily let me copy the artist id let me paste the id and click on execute so this the call is successful and we did get the information okay he is a modern bollywood singer he has this many followers and his name is lucky ali his popularity is 58 i think this is scale of 100 and this is the other information so that's how you get the information of artist similarly you can get the information of album and couple of more things as well this is very simple and uh, uh, these kind of uh, the the main reason why i'm doing these kind of video is to tell you and show you that integration is not difficult and this is very easy it's just that you'll have to go and do some efforts to be able to do the integrations and uh, most of see you can connect linkedin you can connect youtube you can connect spotify you can connect so many other apps as well make sure you try to connect with an app which has authentication and authorization in place because that is very important and uh, do let me know if you have any question in this i'll keep on uploading other such kind of integration videos as well thank you everyone